Mary is almost hit by a car, causing Kazuki to remember a traumatic event. He later finds a photo of his wife, Yuzuko, and decides he doesn't deserve to be happy. The stress of caring for Mary and Ray causes him to lose his temper and leave. A panicked Ray takes Mary to daycare on his own in the rain. Kazuki hides at Kutaro's bar where Karen, revealed as his sister-in-law, has returned all the money he has been sending her. Ray discovers it is the weekend and daycare is closed. Karen finds Kazuki and it is revealed Yuzuko and their unborn child died in a car explosion caused by Kazuki chasing an assassination target. Mary develops a fever from the rain, so Ray rushes her to Kutaro for help. Kazuki visits Yuzuko's grave, where Karen reveals she is moving past Yuzuko's death and going to university in France. She also reminds Kazuki that Yuzuko wanted him to be happy, so it is all right to be happy raising Mary. Kazuki returns home, finds Rei exhausted and Mary recovering from the fever and life returns to normal. Kazuki retrieves Yuzuko's photograph from its drawer and displays it on his desk. Rei is summoned by his father, Shigeki Sua. Kazuki and Mary are shown plotting something in Rei's absence. Shigeki, head of a major assassin organization, thinks of himself as underworld nobility and demands Rei stop trying to rebel like an angry teenager, return home and carry on their family line. Rei asks for more time and Shigeki agrees but orders Rei to assassinate Satoru Kaji, the man who trained him to fight, who recently betrayed their organization. Kazuki and Mary prepare a party for Rei's birthday. Rei learns Satoru fell in love and tried to leave the organization, so Shigeki had his girlfriend killed. Despite the injustice, Rei engages Satoru in a lengthy fight with the former failing to save the latter in a last-minute struggle at the end. Disgusted at Shigeki and at himself, Rei wonders whether he is only fit to be a tool for assassination or if he deserves something better like his instructor wanted. Kazuki abruptly arrives to drag him home, showing him the party Mary prepared. Despite everything, Rei actually smiles. Meanwhile, Shigeki, through Ajino, sends Kutaro a demand for information on Kazuki and Mary by showing him a picture of the latter two together in the open. Mary trains to win at her daycare sports event. The night before Rei sneaks onto the field for an unknown purpose. Rei shocks Kazuki by making rice balls to add to the picnic Kazuki made. At daycare it transpires, Ray ensured they got a good spot to watch Mary by booby-trapping it with razor wire, causing other parents some concern. Ray sees firsthand how popular Kazuki is with other parents, and also that most of the mothers have crushes on them both. After the morning events, most of which Ray didn't understand, they stop for lunch. Ray's rice balls are popular with the children since he filled them with sweets and snacks. During the race Mary trained for Ray finds himself cheering for her, though this is such a shock Mary trips and comes in last place, for which Ray blames himself. Kazuki assists Mary in the parent-slash-child obstacle course while Ray watches depressed. Part of the course is a scavenger hunt, with Mary choosing Ray as her item and winning gold. Mary reveals her item to find was family, causing Kazuki to cry. Meanwhile, Ajino shows Kutaro photographs of Rei with Kazuki and Mary at the daycare event as a reminder to provide the organization with information that was requested a while back. Mary's mother Misaki reappears, wanting Mary back. Unable to argue in front of Mary, they are forced to let Misaki into their apartment. Kazuki and Rei learn from Misaki she contracted throat cancer and can't sing anymore, so her boyfriend-slash-pimp fired her. Uncertain how long she has to live, Misaki wants to take Mary and live with her parents, who can adopt Mary after her death. Kazuki is unsure, so Misaki hints she knows about their assassin careers and isn't afraid to blackmail them. Later, Kutaro reveals he called Misaki himself, passing on a threat from boss, either Rei returns to the organization or Ajino will kill Kazuki and Mary to punish Rei's betrayal. Recognizing their situation they realize they can't keep Mary safe anymore. They take Mary on one last fun, filled day out to say goodbye. Along the way, Kazuki wonders if one day Mary learned the truth would she hate them. Eventually, they hand Mary over to Misaki, pretending she is having a sleepover and will see them in the morning. As they watch Mary leave, they accept they will never see her again or get another chance at normal happiness. Kazuki and Rei do not handle Mary's absence well. Rei returns to his father. 
Misaki and Mary move into an apartment nearby so Mary can still attend daycare. Kazuki asks to work, but Kyutaro is worried about his mental state and refuses to let him. Shigeki betrays Rei by informing him that, to cut all Rei's ties to his life outside the organization, he will kill Kazuki and Mary. Rei immediately messages Kazuki to save Mary. Ajino shoots both Misaki and Kazuki, but is forced to flee when the hidden Kyutaro phones the police. Misaki dies in Kazuki's arms, so he and Kyutaro take the sleeping Mary with them. Rei joins them at a safe house Shigeki doesn't know about. Kazuki decides to fake Mary's death and send her to an orphanage far from Japan, but this time Rei is determined to find a way to stay together while protecting Mary. Kazuki agrees, but insists if Rei is serious, then this time he will help with chores and limit himself to an hour of games a day, to Rei's considerable distress. They thus inform Kyutaro that they quit being assassins and are now Mary's full-time papas. With Christmas approaching, Kazuki has no idea what Mary wants as she had already given her Santa letter to Misaki. They hide Misaki's death from Mary, who is sad. Misaki will miss the daycare's Christmas party, so they promise they will both attend after their important job is done. They travel to the organization to speak with Shigeki, but are forced to shoot their way in instead. They encounter Ajino whom they kill together after a difficult fight. Rei insists on facing Shigeki alone, sending Kazuki to find an escape vehicle. After wounding Shigeki in a shootout Rei announces he is leaving the organization to be with his real family, then intentionally cripples his own right arm so he can never be an assassin again. Shigeki almost shoots Rei in the back, but finally lets him go. They make it back in time for the daycare party, to Mary's delight, concealing their numerous bloody injuries under Santa costumes. Ten years later Kazuki and Rei run a diner together, the diner nest, where Rei's French toast is the signature dish. The teenage Miri is now in high school and lives happily with her two papas.